Supreme Master, in the case of violence and war, um, when we say uh, it never has a place, what would your thoughts be on, on, say, the American Revolution or the American Civil War or World War II? Is it, um, is it truly nothing good has come out of these situations? Okay. I understand you and I understand the Americans as well as I understand everyone else who have chosen to think that maybe um, a strong measure is necessary to defend something, right? Yes. I understand. But the thing is, I would never agree to violence. It doesn't matter what circumstances. Deep down in our heart, we are all love and all peace. And if anything we do against this principle within our heart, within our nature, will bring only trouble and suffering consequences to us. Even though it might look in that present time that we are winning, that we are uh, bringing situation under control. Sometimes we resort to violence or war and we think that will bring the civilization one step forward, but it's not. In fact, we bring the civilization, the evolution backward. If we have the eye to see the working of the law of retribution in the universe, we would never want to fight. In the universe, everything will take care of itself in time, if we just let it, and if we adhere to the principle of love, meaning that we will not cause harm to anyone, even in self-defense. Even in self-defense, for example, if one country wage war against another, and then because we think it's unjust, we also counter-attack the other country. Even though we had the right, even though we were the victims, still we have to pay for that. Because we forget, whenever we uh, make war with someone, then that moment we forget the principle of love, we forget ourselves, we cut a part of love away from ourselves. That means we are less God than the day before we took the violent act to kill somebody or to make war. So the less the God we are, the more we be into trouble and we are degrading ourselves into the lesser and lesser degree of consciousness. And that's why we must always forgive, must always love, must always love thy enemy. I know it's hard, but that's the only way we can become a higher being and become closer and closer to God. So it's just by a natural course. What you're saying is tyranny would dissipate itself if you just infused it with love. Yes, sir. And even if we lose this body, we will have another. Because in the house of my father, there are many mansions. Why do we worry so much about this physical body or even this physical existence here when we have a real home waiting for us? And of course, it's more difficult to do than to say it. But if we are enlightened, if we truly can see the home of heavens while being alive during meditation, then we will not fear losing anything. That's why the Bible says whoever loves life will lose it. Life means the physical existence here. And the true home is for us elsewhere in heaven. And even if we don't go to heaven yet, and we lose the war, we don't fight, even if we lose this body, we can be reborn again into a different uh, planet. There are plenty planets in the universe for us to choose. Uh, to lose a body is just like to lose a shirt, yes, or to change it into a different outfit, sometimes even better. If we all know this, we will not fear and we will not fight. <laughs>